All right, starter team. Phase one, this is where I started, outsourcing the bookkeeping. The bookkeeping is one of the easiest and the most powerful things to get off your plate first because most of us hate to do it. It's not one of our unique talents. And it's definitely something that other people can do faster and better than we can. So that fits in the formula of high payoff. The second phase would be what I call going to the, the three-stage handoff. And the three-stage handoff is your bookkeeping, emails, and phone calls, and probably some other basic administrative functions, and webmastering. Tell you a quick story. I have a friend who is, um, he teaches programs that cost somewhere between fifteen and eighty thousand dollars for one person to attend. Okay? And I called him up one day and I said, uh, just, you know, just chat, checking in, what, what's going on. And I said, what are you doing? He goes, oh, the last two days have been just crazy. My website went down and I'm having to put it all back together. I said, hello? <laughs> You're worth fifteen to eighty thousand dollars per client and you could be on the phone filling your next program and you are doing your own website? He said, wow, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> Guess what? Forty-eight hours later he says, I called your web guy? He goes, I hired him. I'm like, smart move. We should not be doing our own webmaster work. Even if you are a webmaster, you should have somebody else doing your webmaster work. Because that's not what gets you the greatest payoff in your business. Has anybody read the book, The Four Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris? Love that. Timothy Ferris talks about how uh, there's this place where people get resistant with the idea of building a team and learning to leverage their time that way. And he said, you know, when people would say, why should I pay somebody to do something for me that I can actually do better myself? Hello? You're missing the whole point. You are worth so much more to your business when you're doing your unique special talents. I don't care if you're better at webmastering or bookkeeping or housekeeping or whatever it is. If you free up your time and your energy, you will get more done because you are letting other people do what is their strengths. You guys get that? Turn to a neighbor and go, I get it. All right. Here's my current team. Now, this is not where I started, but this is where I'm at now. Because I actually got a little bit addicted to the whole delegation thing. And I decided to delegate in three ways. I delegate to other people's strengths, things that I don't do well. Those are things like my bookkeeping and my filing and... Uh, maybe, maybe handling um, stuff that comes up, like if somebody's got a question or problem with something, they call my customer service manager. I actually realized that marketing could be systemized. That's what I call phase three. When you get to a certain point and you realize, well, I got all this marketing stuff that could be getting done, but if I try to do it all myself, it's not going to get done. Then you hire a team of people to get the marketing systems in place and they manage the marketing strategies. So. It was not something I wanted to do to manage, so I hired my marketing manager to manage my marketing team. Now again, these people do not work full time for me. They're contractors. They're virtual contractors. They live all over the country. They perform work for other people. Some of them are more dedicated to me than others. But they have built a business and they serve multiple clients and one of the things they do for me is complete that function. The third thing I started doing was I realized there were so many people that wanted to coach with my organization. And again, there was just how many of me? One. That I began to train and mentor other people in my style of coaching so they could actually deliver coaching programs that served the needs of our clients and could help me. They became basically clones so we could get more of this out there to other people who need and want to get out of the overwhelm and get their time leveraged. Hi, it's Melanie Benson Strick, million dollar lifestyle business coach and virtual team building expert. What you just saw is an excerpt from our virtual team building programs that are designed to help busy entrepreneurs like yourself discover simple strategies to accomplish more by leveraging the power of a virtual team. I'd love to share with you right now our free virtual team building tips because I know that it's the easiest place to get started as you're discovering the simple strategies to be focused on your highest payoff opportunities. 
So go right now to www.freevirtualteamtips.com and get your copy of this free report and our powerful hidden gold exercise. I predict by taking three minutes now to download this report, read it, and put at least one of these ideas into action, it will be one of the most profitable activities you do this entire year and will really set you up to catapult into that desired six and seven figure lifestyle business I know you want. Go now to www.freevirtualteamtips.com. You don't want to waste a second and I want you to have this in your hands now.